Okay, cool. My microphone was muted. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> but I wanted to play the Stanley Parable today because Minecraft got a little bit boring. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm not. I'm fine with Minecraft. The final. Damn, there's never the paperwork. That's what we're doing. This is the Stanley Parable, if you cannot already guess. Is it saying I'm streaming the Stanley Parable? Hold on. Okay, good, it is. Hello, Xbox. Okay. I don't... I don't like that. Um... <laughs> this is not a dating sim. <laughs> I'm very, very distracted right now. The story of a man named I gotta do audio control things to see if I can be able to hold also the narrator because he's silly. Where he was employee uh. number four two seven. Employee number four two seven. Oh no! Can you hear the guy? He sat at his desk in room four two seven and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor. And I'm not sure. Telling him what buttons to push. Just gonna watch this little cutscene. This is what employee 427 did every day. Press a space bar for 58 minutes. That would be an awful job. And although others you just do that all day. You just press a single button for all of your job today. Every moment that the orders came in. As though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Good for you, Stanley. He's happy with his job. Good for and you. one day, something very peculiar happened. The end something is never the paperwork. This is the ultra deluxe today. version of the game. Desk for nearly an hour. Okay, good. It says it's the ultra deluxe one, version of the game. Yeah, better. Arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say. Whatever will we do without our meetings? Oh God. Years of the company had this happen. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid. Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came Because you were wits, narrating me. I couldn't move because you were narrating me. And stepped out of his office. Okay, now I can move. Little input thing. Coffee mugs. All of his co workers were gone. And we're locked out. Can't been? leave. Stanley decided to go. What settings? I'm just playing with the audio. This is just gonna be the first like ten minutes of the stream where I just play with the audio a whole bunch. And you mildly hear echoes from my microphone. Go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. It's bucket I want the bucket. Time. It's bucket time. Where's my uh thing? Here we go. I wanna be able to hear it too. On my remote. The new content. We're not gonna do the new content right now. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Yes, so we're gonna go to the door on the left. Having a great time right now. Following instructions from an unknown voice, which makes me think I'm schizophrenic no in this here. game. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Maybe, possibly. <laughs> Let a ball up inside of you whenever you have a dis have a uh, dispute. These are things to screenshot. They're very, very important to know. But I'm not reading them all. The broom closet. It's openable, so I will go in. Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet, simply because I have no remaining stickers. If I did, you can guarantee we'd be in here for hours. But I kept alas, on going into no the broom stickers. closet and he gave me a whole bunch of stickers on my bucket. Wait, where am I? Huh? Oh. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's upstairs. office. Upstairs. Go upstairs. Fun fact, when you bring the bucket anywhere, it changes the original ending. Stepping into his manager's office, Let's Stanley see. was once again stunned. What's to the code? Not an indication of any human I life. forgot. 
Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him always. Always. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At I this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. 2845. But Stanley guessed <gasps> the correct Whoa, would you Shia look at that? Was it the bucket new? Oh my god, the fireplace wasn't was actually a fireplace. Oh my god, what will we do? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. You're the most logical explanation. Me and my bucket. Oh. In a box. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. Okay. It would be all Unfate? Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Soothing him, comforting what? him, Hello. reassuring that in this darkest <gasps> well, you're, moment you're of uncertainty, from TikTok. Hello. he would be alright. The bucket Can't is here Stanley Stanley. Payable. Everything will be Definitely fine. not obvious. Why are you making me anxious, Nerado? That's just Stanley rude. the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read, Mind Control Facility. I don't know, man. I like the escape route. Scarpe looks cool, but I guess I'll follow what he says. A button? The lights were Stanley with great buttons. An enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and You've the never heard this game? Uh, basically, we're a person who's walking in an office and the silly little voice coming out of nowhere tells us what to do. You can either ignore him and get a whole bunch of silly endings, or you could follow what he says, which is what we're currently doing. We're following what he says. And also, there's a bucket. That's, that's also important. And our name's Stanley. The monitors jumped to life. And fired. Stanley nearly that guy's dropped fired. The in right in the middle. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket me. had never seen anything like this, and it, it was very my number. nearly burst into tears. I think tears I'm number two six seven. Gently, reassuring uh, us that everything would be fine. I can't count. Hold on. Probably down there. I want to see my number. I want to see if it's like what I think it is. Oh, it's just not there. Okay. Elevator, please. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Oh god, is it? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions I wonder if a bucket enjoys being a bucket. I wouldn't enjoy being a bucket. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His no. own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could it's trust to see no right now. one except for the bucket. Where are we? Where's up? Where's down? Oh, look, a thing. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, oh, or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley best friends. and the bucket, up against the world. They I accidentally cut him off. I was trying to be nice for once and not cut him off. Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Was it? Yes, huh? they had done it. Stanley and the bucket had I don't defeated know their what greatest I'm looking and at. darkest <laughs> enemy, 
freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the oh, evil mind is. control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Freedom! Excited, look at it, the, the bucket. Two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live. Once they stepped through this massive door, I want to be a pretty, the pretty bucket princess. Wanted to learn to the bucket us. has had a Stanley rough life. To sneeze in every we need justice for the bucket, which is why we're giving him freedom. A, a finally movie, free bucket. Finally free from the mind control facility. Begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple life they envisioned, but yes, it was one they lived together, life. with one another to lean on, to trust, to support, and to play. Huh? <gasps> stopped. What? Wait. What was happening? Why had the I can see stopped? the trees. Come on, Bucket. Was Stanley and the Bucket not about to be freed? We have to be free. A terrible silence filled the room, lingering in uncertainty, until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the <gasps> face. This building did not want the bucket to leave. They want my bucket. They the want my bucket. Yo. Recognized Yo. the incredible calming presence of the bucket. Needed the soothing warmth of the bucket. No. Go to any Run. Not to part with the bucket. No, no, no. Stanley can't leave this place. Not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms. Not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized, darkness once he would more. never again once, leave this once again. Room. But at least... At least he has the bucket. Anything for the bucket. Eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with yes, me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. Oh, stars. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Just Stanley needs to get a better throw. Like, go into a baseball or something. Like, just throw the bucket into the empty space. It's okay to sacrifice yourself. Trust me, I'm going. I'm going to get get this bucket some freedom. This is our office. Very lovely. Bucket time. It's bucket time. We're gonna get you that freedom. Okay, ready, bucket. You ready? You ready, bucket? Hold on. Stepping. The narrator showed up. The narrator is gone. That's the bathroom. Come on, bucket. <laughs> Don't get fired, they get fired, absolutely. Just a normal day at the office where I shut up the narrator by walking out a door. All of these doors were closed earlier that I'm walking through right now, but now they're open. Can't go that way though. Bucket. Where did it go? There was a thing. <gasps> that door is not open. You are now leaving. Finally. I'm gonna climb up some spooky, spooky scares. Like a lot of them. Come on, Bucket. Don't lose hope, Bucket. Don't lose hope. Hey, Plunge Bay. I wonder if anyone's watching us through these windows. Escape. We have to escape. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's on Super Saiyan. <gasps> the escape pod. We're going in. Wait, no, the bucket. Don't be sad, bucket. Don't be sad. <laughs> We're caressing the bucket. <laughs> Goodbye, bucket. Did we do it? Did we save the bucket? Finally? Is the bucket free? But we are not free. We're still stuck in this office. All of his co-workers were gone. Is, what the, bucket? Could it mean? Is the bucket still there? Stanley decided to go to <gasps> the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Despite the narrative, I'm gonna do the opposite way he says. When Stanley came oh wow, to look, it's the left. This was not the I mean now it's technically the left. Room, technically if I face this way. Well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. 
It's a very beautiful employer lounge. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It Look at really that mountain. The detour after all. Beautiful. Just to spend a few I'm bored of it. <laughs> but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Okay, sassy McSassy pants. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy. Uh -huh. really, I'm not. I realize I that investing yapping. your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about okay, nothing I'm tired of yapping. you. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? I have only have zero I consideration for you. To happen to you. Why? Well, the escape pod came back, and now if we could escape really pod, we could escape and live with bucket. To show you something beautiful. I think it's a bit too late for that. That thing does not come back. <laughs> if the bucket's still gone next time, then we're gonna run off with the bucket. Where are we? Oh, now wow, listen look. carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Okay, this is a very important decision. Should we go red or blue? Red or blue? Blue door? Okay. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Hey man, they said blue door. I'm gonna go with blue door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. Uh -huh. Oh, well, I'm colorblind, ahead, eh? Well, I'm colorblind. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to yes. find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Oh my God, it's see? beautiful. There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section. Is that? Because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. That's there. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it yes. worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you think <laughs> I put a lot of time into that? Because I'm colorblind, man. That color looks purple. This is a very purple wall. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? A what giraffe. did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. What about Give baby who has, a, so has a little bit of awesomely in its mind? That'd be and crazy. Some feedback. There we go. A third option. Wow, that's this a third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> colorphobic. Look, you see, purple. I bet he'll try to tell you it's green. Okay, I'm going to stop you there now. Okay. Tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Mm. Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real I'm critical feedback here. Feel strong. Watch the pass one. A one? Yeah. I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved. I can't talk, I can't communicate the way that the game could be improved. <laughs> That's not even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, Make a better I game? It isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly mm -hmm. candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Yeah, I keep thinking that, hun. The Stanley Payable Word Leaderboard. Where are we? Where are we on the leaderboard? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whole bunch of people. Yep, yep, mm-hmm. A dead rat is b above us. So I think we're doing pretty good then. Wait, which way are we going? This way. Now, Got any suggestions? Would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Actually, I feel like uh, climbing a staircase now. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game. Yeah, I've I'm, I'm the absolute best at this game. Lovely opportunity. I think the whole point of this game is to be you wouldn't mind taking under the dead rat. <laughs> Let me boot dead rat up. was on top before me. Mm-hmm. In this game, the baby Whoa, look, a baby with awesome towards me. danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he okay. reaches the fire, you fail. So press it's the button to stop the baby from burning itself. All okay. about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. 
Mm -hmm. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, Absolutely. the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. Absolutely, so that's the whole entire point of this game. Play to make sure it's effective. Be so sure people are in love with the narrator? <laughs> Have fun, baby! You heartless bastard. No. Uh -uh. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Well, what if it's because both? It's the latter. Well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out cool. of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm, I'm telling you, another game. Try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. Do another game. It's over. Oh, wow, Thank you for playing. Black Your input void. was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so we did awful, save the bucket. why don't we play someone else? We did to uh, avenge the bucket from his horrible, horrible okay. demise. Well, it wasn't a demise, he was just mm -mm. hanging out in yes. the skate pod. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Hey, what are we doing? Do you take my uh, advice seriously? Is he going to give me a whole entire different game? Oh, hey, look, you did. Aha, fascinating. Wyoming. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Hmm. Well, it seems obvious backstory, to me we that live you are in a tower. A man spying on that is not my bucket. Below you from up high in your creep tower. Perhaps for some sort Real of twisted, erotic purpose. Hmm. Yes, that read. must be it. What a fascinating venture into yeah, the, the baby experience in the of bucket. total mental I'm depravity. completely in, in so the right way. I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward that? and see what map. else is out there. Can I? Can I? Let me jump off. Is there something I can climb on top of? Because there is no jump button. <gasps> oh, I cannot jump off of it, but I can climb down. Oh, wow, look, an open world. I'm going to run away from no, you. No, no, it can't be. But then... Ooh, it is. Sign. It's an open world game. Good uh -huh. God, quickly block it off. Oh. No, my freedom. Thank goodness, Stanley. What a close my call. Freedom. You really wandered off into that that thing, that big open, Your thing. just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just Going go in any. Oh, 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 thank heavens, we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. You should okay, become president. I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. You took away my freedom, <laughs> man. <laughs> okay. I think this I will be jump. just the thing. Wonderful. Am I a car so This is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There but what do you take me for, a hamster? That you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. You can get lost in this game, I just want the ball. Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what? what? Why are you calling it sports ball, man? We should run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yeah, yeah where's the bucket? Give me my bucket. Must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Do a ball. Ball. Get, get into the thing. Get into the thing. Stop running off. I'm horrible at Rocket League in this shows. Are you winning? Is this fun? I don't Is think it better I am than winning, my actually. miserable little story that I work so hard on? Stanley, I have a thought. And I realize I'm not a sportsologist. Oh, but oh, if go. one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, can jump down then there. surely multiple balls makes for an even more euphoric sports experience. Wait, hold on, I'm waiting. I need to try it out. Here comes another ball. Another ball. Yes. Oh goodness, that really does feel amazing, doesn't it? Why are you getting these balls Stanley, from? I'm like jump? a child okay. in a confectionery shop. Yes, yes, I'll more. do anything that I'm anyone tells me. Run, 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 run. Whee! What are you doing? Bye bye. Whoa, look at the thing. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it, you know that. Stanley. I think you're the one obsessed with writing stories, not exactly me. Yeah, I think we got lost. 
filing cabinets. We'll go this way. Ow. It feels like a horror game somehow. Can I come into the out, please? Can I come into the out now? We did the one thing that the neighbors told us not to. Get lost in Rocket League. I guess the cars are just falling phobic. This is why it's never happened to them before. If it starts flickering, I'm screaming. Okay, well not, you, get to, you get to save your ears. Ooh, look, a thing. Blueprints and random buttons and, uh, that's a window. Cool, windows. Oh, it randomly went black. If what he wanted was to be the leading man, I found security story, cameras. Perhaps he's gotten I'm it. happy with that. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost. Yes, absolutely. Let's Stanley drive a car. Stop being cough phobic. To tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's you look like you like chaos and fear and confusion. This world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. What do you mean the end? I can wait. Only just beginning. I think the, the narrator was jealous of the bucket and that's why he took him from us. Absolutely. I'm not even, I'm not even joking. But play. He has my stickers. He has the stickers that claim that he's for me. It's okay, Bucket. If you can't be freed, I have another idea. Thought. It's always it's delayed for heavy stream for me. Through the large door that read, Mind Scope. Control Facility. Bye bye, Scope. I already have a plan. Bucket, you and me are gonna live a beautiful life. In the void. Just as Stanley was about to proceed further into the mind control facility, he tripped and fell over the railing and into the dark void below. Yeah, yeah, let's go there. Thankfully, he fell directly onto the bucket, which safely cushioned his fall. But now, a soft landing to fall in the bucket. Stanley wondered. Stanley and the bucket could find no way out of this enormous pit, and so eventually they decided that the best thing to do would be to simply get comfortable down here. So they set up a little couch and relaxed. Mm -hmm. It really wasn't so bad down couch. here. A bit cool, on the couch. perhaps. After some time had gone by, they installed a few shelves as well, and a sort of kitchenette that was useful for when the bucket was craving paninis. Paninis. <laughs> but it wasn't until the rugs and the standing Absolutely, rugs the bucket came shielded that us. it really started to feel like a home. In fact, after some time, Stanley realized that it had been ages since he had even thought of the mind control facility at all. Yeah, even though living He'd right under it. He'd never gotten to fully explore what was up there. Never been able to unearth the many mysteries of the mind control facility. I found my bucket. Stop putting words in my mouth. Him. Or thoughts in my brain. Soon he was dwelling on his regrets, and the state <gasps> of their home slowly decayed as Stanley became withdrawn and neglected the cleaning. I'm fine. It unsettled the bucket deeply. Oh god. Stanley I really did come near the lawyer with the cleaning. The bucket tried to reach out to him again and again, but to no avail. All Stanley could think about, all he could talk about, was going back, doing it over again, staying on the path. It was I'm a mistake to leave the, the bucket. Path. It was a mistake, it was a mistake. I need to do what the narrator says. I need to see the true ending. Stop taking away my it's happy ending because the insecure narrator. He's simply trying to live its life down here as comfortably as possible. Yet Stanley was unconsolable. This isn't an ending. This is just a hole in the ground. This is an ending. The bucket sighed. What do you mean? True, it wasn't an ending. But it's where we happen to be. And maybe, possibly, if we accept the reality of things, maybe this will become an ending eventually. It's what the bucket is counting on. Where am I? 
The two of them waited for a very long time. Were we married? Am I married to the bucket? I think I'm married to the bucket. The only way to save the bucket is to destroy the narrator. How do we destroy him? No, you're coming with it's me, bucket. bucket time. We'll figure something out. He's left. Obviously, if we want to destroy the narrator, we gotta do what he. We got. We gotta do all the opposite of what he says. This that makes sense in my brain. Way to the, Is the bucket the door guiding us? To go back to the meeting room. I think the bucket's guiding us. The bucket says, "Go here." Bucket, now, show us the true way. Said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The oh, cargo somewhere lift. else. Yes. Go there. Oh. Go to the cargo lift. Yes. Good, yes, bucket. Said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Okay. Stanley did not question why or how up there? this bucket oh. was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, cool. because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He we was have to do what the bucket says. The bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. There's like a little path right there, and like a little opening. Yes, saw bucket saw. In here, said the bucket. Go into okay, this bucket. dark room over here. The dark room. Stanley once again dark obeyed room. blindly. What dark room? Is it in here? Oh, there is. There's a dark room here. Okay, Bucket. What are we doing, Bucket? Now pick up the phone, said the Bucket. Pick up the phone, and it will take us back home, where we can go about life together. Do it. That's not the Bucket. It's not the Bucket. He sounds weird. Wait, the Bucket doesn't talk. That's it, I'm unplugging the phone. Whoa, hold on. Why did you unplug the phone? Because it's not really the bucket. Were you trying to resist the bucket's orders? Stanley, I was joking. Obviously, the bucket isn't talking to you and telling you to do things. Buckets can't talk. It was a joke. Don't you get the joke? It's funny, Stanley. A talking bucket. Ugh. You took Don't my you bucket say, after oh, we got goodness. divorced. I must have really <gasps> bungled up the delivery if you actually took me seriously. Where did I mess up the joke? I'm, I'll figure Should it out, man. I'll figure it out. Longer? Or spoken quicker. Hmm, comedic timing is so difficult. I wish I were better at it, but there isn't exactly an instructional video on comedy that one can watch to fully. Oh wait, yes, there is. Oh, there is. Um, oh, there's a comedy it's video. Right Let's look at it. Let's take a look. I want to see. What is comedic timing? What is comedic timing? How does it work? How long should it last? <laughs> How can it be used to effectively silence your political enemies? And more importantly, can it be taught in its entirety within the It can silence our political enemies? Thankfully, the answer like the to narrator. all of these questions is yes. Let's dive deeper. If you've ever told a joke or made someone laugh, in all beautiful. likelihood, you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters from them in a room of no more than 76 degrees Fahrenheit with one of your arms raised straight upward at a 15 degree <laughs> angle from your body. These are the optimal conditions for good comedic timing. To begin the joke, start by stating and spelling your name. Next, provide a brief synopsis of the joke, including the specific times at which the recipient of the joke will laugh, and then spell out your name a second time. With these steps <laughs> complete, it's time to begin the humor. Speak the entire joke in no more than 18 seconds and no less than 13 and a half, pausing only for bathroom breaks when necessary. When the joke has concluded, <laughs> it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your loudest possible voice, I'm Dunny with the funny. <laughs> Let's practice screaming, I'm Dunny with the funny. All right, now. okay. I'm Dunny with the funny. Good. This saying is a perfect example of expectations management which is the cornerstone of good comedy. Yeah, Finally, it's comedy. time to hand out surveys. Collecting hard data from your audience on how rapt they were throughout the joke is the only way to grow or learn as a comedian. An effective survey should be no less than 10 pages <laughs> long and should include the same question reprinted several times. Just to ensure the survey taker is actually paying attention and funny. not simply filling in answers at random. And that's all there is. With these strategies at your disposal, you'll have audiences doubled over in laughter 
and even tripled over in laughter in no time at all. Just remember to let them stop laughing at some point, you gut-busting little scamp. After all, with each of us needed on the front lines of the war <laughs> to fight the 12-legged invaders <laughs> who going. threaten our very existence and to very likely die in a hailstorm of bullets and mandibles, all of us must be prepared to give our lives <laughs> to this noble cause, just as our children must do after us and what? their children after them. Godspeed and may Earth reign supreme. Hey, goodness, this video is a little outdated, isn't it? A little? It? Well, no what? matter. I think the fundamentals of proper comedic timing are still as relevant today as they were back then. So with that in mind, I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of this again, so I can try telling my story with more appropriate comedic delivery. Come along, oh. let's head back. Okay, we're heading back. Are you done with the funny yet, Naoko? Uh, I got taught how to do comedic timing by saying I am done with the funny, and also we're going back to the two doors. Cause it turns out the bucket was a liar. Could the bucket? I can feel it. This time, I'm really. Oh, I won't let me jump. The delivery. You'll be in stitches. A talking bucket, you'll say? How ridiculous! How absurd! What a hilarious concept! The king of comedy. That's what you'll call me. Thank goodness we had the instructional video. Otherwise, who knows where we'd be right now? Well, I wouldn't be the king of comedy, that's for sure. The you aren't the king of comedy. You won't, you won't hmm. say that I'm done the with the funny. Spoke. The bucket spoke. Steps on how to tell oh, a comedic joke with very good comedic things. timing. First, spell out your name. Then give a synopsis of what the joke is about and the appropriate times to laugh to your audience. Then spell out your name once more. And then the room should be at a 70 something degree uh, temperature on, you should be 78 centimeters apart. That's how you tell a good joke. And when you're done with the joke, you must let them know by saying, I am Dunny with the funny. And then you must give out a 10 page survey with the same question that appears several times. That is the only way to tell a good joke. It's because it was funny. <laughs> Here we go. You ready? I remember <clears> things <throat> I think Stanley was funny. When the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Okay, he brought me back all the way here. Should I just go to the right? No, we're going to the left? Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. You were supposed to go through the door on the right, leading back to the phone. Did you not even look at the instructional okay. video? Okay. I think this is all covered very clearly. There's no way I can make the comedic timing work now. It's done. I've disappeared from him several times. He's like, Stanley, the story cannot go on fault, without Stanley. you. I'm going to be that time I jumped in into the, the void or something. Joke writers. I'm going to be shamed at every one of our meetings from now on. All because you couldn't watch a simple video and take a hint. Are you proud of yourself for bringing me down, Stanley? Are you proud? I don't think he's proud. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Is they gonna just wait the left? Huh. What's that? Well, uh, we're back at the phone already. No, no, no. What's hey! going on? There were supposed to be several rooms yeah, okay. leading up yeah, to okay. this. There was supposed to be a build-up to this point. A dramatic display of remarkable comedic Sorry, wit, man, I which can't culminates hear me, okay. in this scene with the phone. But now the timing's completely off. I have a really short attention span. The joke will never land. Well, not the way it was meant to. Hello, where I left. And it's all my I can't fault. Jump. I must have forgotten that the phone there was no jump button. immediately after the two doors room. What an egregious mistake. I've made a fool of myself. I don't deserve the title of King of Comedy. I'm nothing. I'm not even the lowliest joke telling whelp. I think. I think I need to go back and rewatch that instructional video again. Are you watching the video Surely again? Or are you watching the video again? Right. Oh, we don't get to watch the video again. 
Stanley, oh. you love the bucket so much, it's like you... Um, it's as though all of your other most prized possessions pale in comparison. Yes. Let, well, let me try that again, Stanley. I think he's going insane. I heard that you are pale with shame over how unabashedly in love with a bucket I, I think you he's are. going severely yes. insane. This is just me the being AFK right there. It is a delivery. Pale with shame. Pale with shame. Pale... What's another word to describe Hungry. this bucket? I don't know what to eat. This bucket is so metal. I think I saw it playing guitar. No. No, 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 no. We're getting away from making fun of Stanley's obsession with the bucket, which was the whole point of this. I he is going insane. He's trying so hard at being a good comedian. More instructional videos. Look, man, the thing that you're getting wrong is the temperature of the room, how far apart you are from me, and the I'm dunny with the funny. You haven't even spelled your name once. It's bucket time. It's bucket time. Come on, bucket. We must go. Stanley clung the bucket to his cheek. Let me on the thing. Could his co-workers really all be gone? Let me... Come on, the desks. Yes, whispered the bucket into Stanley's ear. We've done it. We've escaped from that dull office and that pesky narrator. Oh, At hell last, yeah. out here in the white void, we are alone. Now, You're alone. for the first time, I can reveal to you my true self. True self? The bucket okay. began to tell Stanley of its life and its history, of the countless wars it witnessed, desecrating oh. the land and lives of untold numbers of innocent humans, and the bucket's own complicity therein, of sadness and regret, and the many years it spent dwelling on the actions it might have taken to curb the madness and the decay, if only it had been stronger. Of hope and redemption, and its crusade to uplift the stock of life for the common man, to manifest justice where none existed, and the bittersweet reality of time, to see one's dreams and wishes met halfway, <laughs> meted out in parcels like It's the bucket again, it's revealing its the true self. We climbed on top of a desk and ran out the one of the windows. The opportunities to do so much more. There was so much it could have done, perhaps. The bucket wondered to itself. The bucket's telling its life story. If it had seen its own darkness with a clearer perception. This was way too much for Stanley. What are you talking about? He screamed. You're a bucket! To this, the bucket furrowed its brow. There's a brow? Well, said the bucket. Not since the evil wizard Gamhorata first ensnared me in his machinations as payback for the sacred amulet I stole from his oh treasure box. I was young what do I believe? Then, oh God. I could not conceive the ramifications of. No! No! So even louder this time. <laughs> this is no. stupid. You are a bucket. This is so stupid. Why are we even doing this? As Stanley screamed and screamed and screamed, the bucket revealed its true form, transforming into a mighty beast of untold power, its fangs glistening like... What? What's happening? Stabby knife sounds? My god, Stanley, you did it. You saved us from the bucket. Thank god you already oh, had all 12 jam. emblems of sages and knew the incantations to summon their true power. Otherwise, we would have easily been overwhelmed by the bucket's power. I'm speaking. I think something happened You've to the bucket. You've demonstrated such bravery here today. Come, let's restart the game, and we'll agree to never again go trifling with this bucket, nor the dark magic cast away inside of it. I'm immediately gonna get the bucket again. Load faster so I can see the beautiful, beautiful bucket's eyes. He doesn't have eyes. Hopefully, that'd be terrifying. Apparently, he has blood. So imagine what else it has. <laughs> what? Hold on, there's a phone call. Hi Stanley, I uh, just wanted to leave you a message to let you know there's a few things I need you to pick up on your way home from work today. We need milk, cereal, dish soap, spaghetti, get a thing of sugar, some bread, and coffee beans, whichever ones you like. I'll give you a call if there's anything I forgot. Thanks sweetie, see you tonight. I was given a grocery list. Hmm, new content. Bucket, I think we're gonna go to the new content. Ooh, look, a thing. Off to the nether void we go. There's so many voids here. I need to set a new 
follower goal because I already reached it. I got 50. <laughs> Thank you. New content. Okay, we're gonna go up or down. You up see, or down. Stanley, I've been reflecting okay, we're going on up. Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley You're roundly Parable disappointing. Was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the Ooh, first the time ever the Stanley Parable 2. Oh, cool. Investor Showcase. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior? Okay, to have a, a nice day. Port with a few minor additions, think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. The end is never the end. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long term franchising potential. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's oh. take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally Ooh. spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. <laughs> Who took the red marker? Me. I'm the guy that took the two markers. The prequel to the Stanley Parable 2 is the sequel to the Stanley Parable is the prequel to the Stanley Parable 2 is the sequel to the Stanley Parable is <laughs> That's actually a cool design. I like that. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. New new features. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? It's gonna say Santa Candless? Jim. Oh. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love Okay, I'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. Okay. I Jim. Whoa, 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 hold on. I wasn't finished setting up the oh, backstory. backstory. If you don't of mm -hmm. role play as Jim, then you'll never understand the impact of this button. Otherwise, it's just a stupid button that says somebody else's name. Okay, we're doing it again, and this time let me finish first. Okay, <clears> I'll <throat> let you finish. Now, allow yourself to become Jim. Jim. All right, fine, oh, sorry, whatever. I thought you finished. It's just a meaningless button that says Jim. Are you happy now? Get out of here. I'm done with this button. Why don't you go humiliate me in front of a different feature that I worked very hard on? Jim, See, if you'd Jim, only played along, Jim, that would have Jim, been your Jim, name, the button Jim, says. Jim, but no. Jim, Instead, Jim, oh, Jim, I can't Jim, even Jim, think Jim, about Jim, it. I'm taking the Jim, Jim button Jim, away. Jim, 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 no, Jim, Jim please, Jim. Jim, Jim. How could you do this to me, man? Had two doors for this. Maybe I'll only let people named Jim play the Stanley Parable 2. They would appreciate what I've created here. <laughs> the button that says Jim. The jump circle. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's a oh wait. 
You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece, then. He won't let me jump again. How could he? Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Jump. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my most so genius right concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. I'd rather not. I like falling. Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do oh. it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. No. -uh. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Well, I can't pass Look, the telephone. I think the back. issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person Someone's actually been smoking wants a whole to bunch fall here. infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. Two of us. Look, uh, things got a little Welcome heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the whole mostly infinite? If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Goodbye, cool world. Oh, for heaven... You see, I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. No. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? No, it's about normal. help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly... I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing where... Wow. Okay. Yes. I'm starting the hole to that shrinks the more you jump in it. That the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Well, there it is. The shame of my lie has come to haunt me. Not only is the hole not infinite, but it's barely even a hole at this point. How is this still appealing to you? It's very I know you're obsessed me. with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Hmm. It's not working. Is the um teleport button not working? You sure? <laughs> well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Try it. Doesn't again. work no more. Still nothing. Well, I suppose. 
I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. You get to be with the hole, I get to do literally anything else. <laughs> you can do anything else. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of eternity. No. Oh. Well, I'm ending the stream in the hole because it's silly and funny, funny and infinite hole is not at all infinite. Just look at this texture of the carpet. Carpet texture. Anyways, I am ending the stream. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for existing. Ooh, look, a thing. Goodbye, farewell, have a nice, lovely day.